Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Maths and Mystic Hair video. In this video we're going to be looking at um, doing some long division involving one of the questions from the 2016 arithmetic example questions uh, that which the DFES has given us um, for paper one. So in this example here we've got um, 1652 divided by 28. Now our divisor here is much smaller than, than the number we're dividing into so let's get cracking. So first of all we always start off by dividing into the place value on the far left, the largest number possible. So 28, can you divide into 1? No. So we drop down the 1 and then bring down the, the 6 and hundreds and repeat again. So 2, 28 does it divide into 16. Now as 16 is smaller again the answer is no. So let's drop down the 5 and the tens. Can we do something now? Yes we can. So as 165 is larger than our divisor, we can start dividing in. So how many multiples of 28 can we manage to squeeze into 165? If we multiply by 5, let's start off with that. So 5 times 20 would be 100. 5 times 8 is going to give us 40. If we added together 140, it's going to give us 140. So let's subtract 140. And remember, we multiply by 5 to get that. So let's see what we get. So 100 subtract 100 is going to give us 0. 6 subtract 4 is going to give us 2 in the tenths. And 5 subtract 0 is going to give us 5 in the units. Now, can we divide 28 into 25? As it's a smaller number, the answer is no. So let's see how many multiples of 28 we'll be able to subtract this time. 5. So 5 goes above the 5 here, because that's the last number we drew down. OK, so now we repeat again, we move on to the units. So bring the 2 down there to make uh, 252. Now, once again, how many multiples of 28 can we subtract from 252? Now, we know that, multiple, that 5 times 28 is gives 140, so let's subtract that once again. So we're going to subtract 5 lots of 28, and we know that to be 140 from the previous part. So let's subtract that. Again, starting off in the hundreds and going from there. So, sorry, starting off with the units going from there. So 2 subtract 0 is going to give us 2. Uh, in the tens, 5 subtract 4 is going to give us 1. And in the hundreds, 2 subtract 1 is going to give us 1. So we're down to 112. Is our divisor larger or smaller than the number we're trying to divide into? Now, once again, it's larger, so we can keep on subtracting. Now, we can't subtract 5 lots, but we could maybe try doing subtracting 4 lots. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that in my head, so let's use some of the space that we've been given in the paper. So, we're trying to work out what 4 times 28 is. So, I've got 28. I'm going to multiply it by 4. A quick bit of uh, short multiplication. 4 times 8 is going to give us 32. That's going to give us uh, 3 in the tens and 2 in the units. 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. Add the 3 gives us 11, so that's 1 in the tens and 1 in the hundreds. 112. Fantastic. So we're going to, we just worked out 4 times 28. We're going to subtract our 112. And if we subtract 112 from 112, it's going to give us a wonderful 0, which completes our long division. Now, as we, we subtracted 5, then we subtracted 4. 5 add 4 is 9 in total, so our 9 goes at the top. So, for when we got down to 10s, 165, we subtracted 5 lots of 28, so either 5 goes above there, and for the next section, we subtracted 5 lots of 28, then a further 4. So we subtracted 5 lots and then 4 lots, 5 add 4 is 9, so altogether we subtracted 9 uh, multiples of 28 from the final number, giving us a final answer of 59. So the examples will be looking for a correct answer in the box there, as well as that, though, they'll also be looking for a valid method. You'll gain two marks if you get the correct answer in the box, regardless of method. If you get the wrong answer, but you show a valid long division method like this, you'll gain one mark out of the possible two. There you go. Uh, one example of um, solving a long division problem with a, a four-digit number divided by a two-digit number. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, why not like the video and subscribe to the channel? I would pre appreciate it if you share it with your friends and colleagues. If it can be used in class, then please do use it. Um, as much as possible. Feel free to set this as homework. If you'd like me to cover any topics in the future, then please do get in contact either uh, by tweeting me at Mr. Caird or by, um, pers by direct messaging me through YouTube or leaving a comment in the comments below. But thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.